Okay, builders, Andy is your here, and welcome to another building tutorial medieval tavern 5x5 five five building system. Let's have a quick look around this, and I'm going to show you how to build it. It uses the 5x5 five five building system, which is an easy way of building in Minecraft. It starts off with a very basic plan, a basic design, and then we just add things like the shutters in the windows, balconies, flowers, flower boxes, and even this little sticky out thing here, which is pretty cool, I think. It's an extra bit of room inside a tavern or the bar. So, um, down here, first of all, underneath, if I can get past here, we've got a nice big basement area as well. Beautiful for storing all the things like the barrels. If you want to do this in 1.14, then you can have barrels. Barrels are great, aren't they? So in here, there's plenty of room. You can furnish this to be the place where you have the main area of the tavern. You would put in maybe a big chimney somewhere. The only thing missing from this build is probably a big chimney, but you can decorate this and bring it out uh, into full splendor upstairs there's room for accommodation the weary travelers can rest in this tavern as well there's little secret balconies as well and there's even room upstairs as well uh, in in the attic as well there we go a, a huge huge attic up here as well so a quick look around the outside and we will get this build guys if you like these kind of tutorials if you want to see more five by five tutorials and Hit the like button guys, smash that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the notification bell to see more videos and use the hashtag 5 Andy's or a 5x5. Hopefully I've added those to all my 5x5 five five videos by now. Hashtag Andy's or a 5x5. Five five. It's my job, my homework is to do that. Add that hashtag to all my 5x5 five five videos. Let's get it built. So the first thing you're going to want to do is lay out this grid. I've used polished andesite here to lay out the grid. A 5x5 five five grid. So there's a space of three between each of these little dots. So lay that out exactly like that. By the way, if you uh, sign up to my Patreon, it's just $1, patreon.com forward slash Andy you get this building guide. And I'm going to try and do a building guide for every single one of my builds. So if you'd like that building guide, patreon.com forward slash Andy Zoda. Anyway, so... If you didn't manage to build it in time, go back to the last few seconds of the video and just lay out this grid exactly as you see on the picture and just make it three dots or three blocks between each one. Take away all the grass like I've just done there and you should end up with this sort of space here. Now, in between these blocks here, we're going to place some dead brainy coral block and I'm just going to place that with my little shovel here, one of the tools I've got on my server. I can just replace this grass with dead brainy coral. So really the first picture is the most important picture, the one I showed you there. Once that's laid out, you've dug out your grass and then put the walls around in dead brainy coral, then what you can do is grab some more polished Andy Zoda site and we're gonna just um, do the floor as well. And I think this floor, this basement floor, looks really good in polished and the site. It looks like big flagstones. Pretty much you could use anything for the basement floor. If you haven't got much of this andesite, then normal stone, cobblestone, pretty much anything would do. But I think it should be stone and not wood. Anyway, once that is done, we can add three more blocks of polished andesite, I need to stop doing that joke, onto uh, each of these. By the way, do you like my new microphone? I've got an XLR microphone. Hopefully uh, this investment in my channel is paying off because it should get me much better audio. Okay, next stage is just to complete your little 5x5 five five system. So as you can th see, there's definitely three blocks between each of these little dots here. And all you've got to do is put these absolutely everywhere. Link up all of the polished andesite with oak wood logs like that. Okay, once that is done, we can go on to dead brainy coral time again. And I'm just going to stick these blocks in here. These are going to be um, filling in the basement walls, really. And we're going to leave a little space at the top, which is going to be for some uh, iron bars. You could put the iron bars down one block as well. It might look a bit better, actually, when you're inside. But I've put them up there. Anyway, do that all the way around and put your iron bars in. Big shout out to Peshkatch here, who is going to be... <laughs> dressed up in the center outfit and he's helping me put these bars in at this stage. He jumped onto my server. Special guest, special VIP guest. There he goes. So as you can see, all the way around, you've got these iron bars and these gaps and it makes a little bit... Now, you don't want them at that end. You don't want them there. But we do want them around this corner here. Come on, Pescatch, catch up. So there 
and there. As you can see, I've missed one out, and that's going to be where a door is going to be. Um, on the inside, I've put some torches just to light up the basement, as you can see. Um, but what I'm going to do is put these upside down spruce wood stairs, I think just on the outside walls. I was going to do them on the interior. Oh, missed one. I missed one. I was going to do them on the interior columns as well, but I don't think that's necessary. We'll just do some here, like that. And you, as you can see, I've done the rest of them already, and I've put in some nice torches. Okay, the next stage is flooring. Oak wood slabs, upper variety. Guys, leave some, like, some feedback for my new microphone in the comments. I'm really uh, keen for you guys to know or to know what you guys think of it. Okay, so we're going to add these blocks everywhere you've got uh, the top of the andesite here. Just stick a sticky out log like that. You don't need to do those two. And you don't need to do the ones at the end either. Now we can go around here and put some upper spruce wood slabs all the way around. I've missed that little gap there, but there's actually no reason to do that. We'll fill that in later on. Swing them around here and we'll just finish there. You don't need them at the very end there. Okay, great. Um, I'm just going to dig out this section. So this should be a little 8x8 eight eight square tight into the corner here. And this is going to be a place where you'd sort of roll your barrels of beer down ready to be stored in the basement. That's going to be the door. You can set that door back one as well if you like that. Now I'm going to go for some polished andesite again. And this is going to be pretty much everywhere on the floor again once that is done you can go for some upside down no polished andesite to mark out your five by five grid again again it leaves these little three by three or three wide gaps make two of them stairs so you can come down actually into this place but it looks quite cool down here isn't it it's looking of a workshop or a space if you wanted you could do that on the back of the tavern as well. A little shout out and advert to that uh, VPN service there, TorGuard. Use the code ANDYSYODA50 for 50% 50 off your own VPN. Spruce wood fences and some oak logs just to seal in this little courtyard here. And I actually really like that courtyard. I love how the basement goes down into that courtyard. I just I love it, love it, love it. Do you know what you can do? You can maybe move these bars down. Remember I was kind of talking about that? You could move these bars down. Maybe in the courtyard is a great place to move those bars down the way excellent good progress so far okay so the next thing you want to be doing is some stairs so line the stairs up there with that oak log and bring the stairs up all the way up to the top and this is going to form the main entrance in and as you can see we should have put the spruce slabs there anyway and there we go we've got an entrance you can just um, put yourself a little path down as well this path is going to join up with the rest of your village or your town it's probably going to be quite personal to you okay next we're going to be going up in the world everywhere you can see the polished andesite place a block of oak log Now you want to add on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're adding on six. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I'm sure it goes eight tall. I think I was adding on seven, but just miscounting. It goes eight tall. We'll work it out later on. It doesn't actually matter too much. As you can see, what you're going to do is go up by three blocks, and we're going to start our little five by five grid system again on the fourth block up so count up three yeah i'm really sure that this is these these, these uh, uprights are eight high in total kind of just makes sense once that's done all the way around i'll just swing the camera around so you can see exactly how that uh, is laid out yeah they're definitely eight blocks high um one 
missing there. As you can see, I've put three little pumpkins in there to show you count up three. So yeah, so that makes it four high. So that makes it eight high in total. Great. Excellent. So uh, once that is done, it's again a question of putting in some flooring. So I've gone again for upper oak wood slabs. So you've got two floors to do this time. You've got that floor there, which is where you would probably put your guests. You've got to do the interior yourself. You've got to furnish this yourself. I'm not doing furnishing or interior. You've got to put some staircases in. So you've got to carve out some rooms as well. You can put in partitions. You can make walls, doors, rooms. I don't want to take away all the creativity. That is down to you guys to put in your staircases, your rooms, your bathrooms, your uh, places for people to stay, storage rooms, the bar itself. Okay, once you've put a floor absolutely everywhere, what you're gonna do now is go for stripped birch. And we're gonna put it in some doors and windows. So at the side here, we've got one door, one window. We're gonna miss a gap of two squares and then we're gonna go here for a window. There, down this side as well. the middle bit this one gets just a single on it this is where it's going to join onto the round section the round section we can put some glass into this as well we can put a single line there and then a normal window here you could use uh, stained glass as well never thought of using stained glass might look quite good kind of oldy worldy uh, yeah, miss out those ones as well. You don't want anything on there. So glass and class. And there's one more around the corner there to do as well. Let's grab a door. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is looking at the upper floor. This is where you'd put your guests for accommodation. You have a bedrooms up here and so on. I'm going to use bone block. You might want to use mushroom stock, wool, white uh, white concrete. Anything nice and white would look like a sort of a more of a fancier floor. And it just looks nicer on the inside as well. One thing you can do with these little sections here is to put on a little trap door here. I've gone for a spruce trap door. And it just looks like a nice shutter on the window. And again, it helps to add a little bit of depth to the build. Now, that has to be done all the way around <laughs> once that's been done all the way around stick a little fence in here so i didn't show you it being done all the way around but you guys you can see at the top of the screen there it's been done all the way around I guarantee it okay copy this fence exactly how i'm doing it you want to do this little corner piece as well and then come in have those two come up that's going to support a nice uh, upper floor two on that one as well And we're going to go for some oak logs on top. Make them into the 5x5 five five system. And we can grab some oak slabs, put in some more floorage. There we go. Awesome. Oak logs coming up. Complete your 5x5 five five system. Little gaps of three between the uprights. You could use any sort of wood, actually. I just gone for a lot of oak in this build, to be honest. And then we've got more floor to do. Great thing about the 5x5 five five system, it means you can expand it, you can enlarge it, you can go off in different directions and it still looks good. You're just adding 5x5 five five each time. Your challenge is to make it look good, to make it not look so flat and boring and mojangy. You've got to add things uh, like, you know, these trapdoors in the windows. You could use some little uh, gate trim above and below, um, balconies, other uprights as well, even more trapdoors on the corners as well really make your build stand out but the basic structure still retains that kind of minecraft feel the mojang feel which i quite like anyway okay so as you can see i've just completed those white bits all the way around with the bone the windows and the trap doors next we're going to just put on a little balcony here and make a door so 
So sticky out oak logs and then sticky out upper oak slabs. And then you've got a little fence to wrap around. I guess we'll grab a door at this point. There we go. Love the spruce doors. They are adorable. Ha ha. And there we go. Again, you could set that board, door back uh, a little bit if you wanted a bit more depth in the build. Great. Uh, these, I'm going to put a balcony on the back now as well. So I'm going to make that kind of a double balcony here. Exactly the same as the other side. Little door. Teeny tiny balcony. You can make it stick out three blocks if you want. I just made it stick out two. It is up to you. Three blocks would actually look pretty good as well. You could maybe put some spruce upside down stairs under the logs as well to give it a bit of support. But I've gone for teeny tiny little balconies. Alrighty. Now what I'm going to do is make a sign. So we're going to come out by four. Um, just right there. I'm going to use some, I think it's, hmm. What block was that? I think it was spruce stripped logs, I think. Spruce stripped logs. And then you need to come up with some sort of sign for your tavern. I've just gone for pots. I don't know if that represents, I don't know, maybe some, uh, yeah, brewing potions or something like that would look like maybe, am I missing a trick here? What, what would look good? What would represent uh, pints of beer or ale in your medieval tavern? Maybe you can think up something better. Maybe you can come up with a much better sign as well. You might make some custom maps or something as well. You can see me experimenting with different things. Yeah, that just doesn't look like tavern to me. So what should we put in there? Maybe you could let me know in the comments. I don't think I really nailed it there, to be honest. Um, okay, we're going to do some more sticky outs. Uh, maybe not at that section there, because that's going to have the round sections. Yeah, more of these little sticky outs like we did on the, the level below. Licky outs dogs. There we go. That was an easy stage, wasn't it? Right, yeah, this is um, maybe something you want to miss out. I'm not too sure about this, but this is a little bit of sort of extra trim, bit of extra depth, going for these dark oak trap doors. And I'm just kind of putting them in these little spots here where the sticky out bits just join onto the uprights. And it really disguises what we've got. Again, we don't need to worry too much about that corner. It's going to be covered up by the, the circular addition to this build. There we go. No need to put any on the balcony. Some here. This, yeah, just adds a bit of depth. You might want to choose a different trapdoor. Maybe the spruce trapdoors would have been better there, but then maybe use a different trapdoor for the windows. I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for some little window boxes, which I think really add depth, character, and a bit of color to your build as well. And it's really important to have just little flashes of color here and there. And what better to do it with than some plants? So. I've got some um, podzo surrounding it with trapdoors and it's going to stick a plant in it. We'll add a couple more around the front as well a little bit later on. Looking good so far. Okay, so these little sections in here, I thought I'd come up with some different wall designs. So I've gone for some spruce stairs here and here. And then I've gone for spruce trapdoor, three high but the middle one i'm going to turn sideways and make into jungle trap doors if it's like an open window like that i'll show you this section uh, again i'll show you this whole thing twice yeah it's looking good so on the inside spruce trap doors we're going to go going to go no 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 that's wrong that's wrong bring them back one please one two three and it just makes for a little bit of a I don't know, a different looking wall as well. As if it's been a bit a bit more of a cheaper or wall. Maybe it's just the entrance way. They haven't spent too much money on these walls. Or it's just a fancier wall, you could argue. Anyway, I'll show you one more time how to do this. So these ones, you face this way. Get rid of your middle one and turn it into a jungle trapdoor sideways. Come in to the inside and back a block. And we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a nice little wall design, what do you think? Obviously you've got to do it over here on this side as well, so both these walls need to be done exactly the same as you can see I've done that. This place is looking really good now, just got really the roof to do I guess, and the round section on the corner. So that round section on the corner, I've got to do that. Um, what am I 
doing around here? Oh yes, I'm just going to put on another couple of Podzo flower baskets or window, what do you call them? Window flower pots, window flower basket pots. Yeah, totally nailed it there. Window boxes, that's it. I knew that, I knew that. There we go, tavern, getting there, it's getting there. So really exciting about this one, you need some dark prismarine uh, stairs some dark prismarine blocks and some oak planks. These are really important blocks here and here to get right when doing the roof. If you don't like a prismarine roof, then hey, maybe a brick roof would look really, really nice as well. And I believe clay is a lot easier to collect in the latest updates of Minecraft. So hopefully you can copy exactly where I'm putting these um, dark prismarine stairs. You wanna go to about there and have that one swing around and that one is going to make the exact sort of same shape roof on the other side so it's exactly opposite the triangle we're going to be making the gable roof end on the other side complete that all the way around like that so this bit's a little bit more complicated so watch carefully you might need to replay this we're going to go for block and stair block stair stairs upside down facing in the way then we're going to go for stair, block, stair, block, stairs facing in the way on the outside, stair on the inside, stair on the inside. Let's bring this up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven, doesn't matter, you'll figure it out later on. Then we're going to go for dark prismarine block, one, two, one, two. And again, on the inside. And we're gonna go for more of these dark prismarine stairs on the inside, upside down, should connect you to your middle log at that point. Or be level with it anyway. Upside down dark prismarine stair right there. Block, block. And another one, and another one. Then three more on top, one, two, three, and then two more. In the middle, I think, one, two, yep, that's it, perfect. So that is what it looks like. And again, if you go into my patreon.com and get the building guide, you get a nice clear picture of that. Just a one dollar to join that, you get a nice pictorial tutorial for each of my builds coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So if you didn't catch it the first time, as you can see, we've got three of these triangles to do all the way around. Block and block. We've got inside and inside upside down stairs. Two blocks like that and then it's again upside down stair I believe nope we come up one two that's the way it goes like that two two one two three four five there three on top and then two sticking up and that should be exactly the same hopefully as the other side that block there should have been upside down dark prismarine stair so that is my roof it's a quite a sneaky roof by the way fill these little gaps in here with some oak planks you'll see why it's a little sneaky roof design in just a few seconds time when we come to put the nice uh, ordinary prismarine blocks there we go seal the deal Okay, so this is a, I call this a one and a half roof. I like one and a half roofs. There's the one. So one block of prismarine. There's the one. Okay, and there's the half. So it's a one and a half roof. So the next bit's got to stick up by one and a half. So if we put a block on, it's only sticking up by a half. 
So we haven't made it one and a half, we've only made it half, but sticking another block on top makes it stick out by one and a half above the previous section. It's a one and a half roof, and I think the one and a half roofs look one and a half, a half and one. So this section gives you the one. Then we've got the half. Then we've got the half on the next level. And of course you add one to that and you get one and a half. No, 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 no. One. There we go. Let me know what you think of one and a half roofs. Maybe you've got a better medieval roof design. Just go with that if you've got a better one. So that's one and a half. We'll get rid of that block and we're going to go for one. And on this, the half is going to be actually a dark prismarine slab instead, just to finish off the roof at the very top. Again, you could go a bit fancier up here as well. I've kept it very, very simple. So that needs to be done on all the other sides. You need to do it on this side, the one and a half, and on the other little third side as well. Just use the one and a half rule. Keep going all the way until you get to the top. I'll just do a little bit more on camera here. And then I'll just uh, skip it. And rejoin you in a few seconds when that's all complete. So the whole roof is now done on all sides. I promise, I promise. Sorry I didn't show you. Counting three blocks, we're going to put a little dormer window. When we go around to the other side, you'll see I finished it. So block, 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 block of oak wood. And then we're going to make that. There's going to be a little gap here for the window. Then we're going to go for spruce wood stairs upside down, key block there and there. One, two, and then three. And it makes a delightful little dormer window sticking into the attic roof. Upside down. Correct the way up, facing out the way. Upside down again. And something I didn't get ready would be a spruce wood slab just to finish off your dormer window. There we go. I like it. So what we want to do is add some more of these dormer windows. I've put one around the corner here, and I've put two at the back. So they just need to be repeated. We're nearly finished this. So a little bit of extra trim here, which looks good. So I'm putting um, fence posts, spruce fence posts, at the corners of the, the walls or on the uprights of the oak. So uprights of the oak, as you can see, or the very corners sticking out with the roof and I think it looks a lot lot better then we're gonna go for some gates I think I've missed an up right there at that side hmm can't get things perfect little spruce gates just go in between like this this comes across definitely missed one in the middle there as well I'll get I remember that one later in the video I've just remembered uh, in the corner, I think that in some of these internal corners, I think it's better to put a fence post and then gates along. And it just looks like a nice little bit of medieval trim at the top of the build. I actually really, really love that, uh, the way that looks. So, yeah, that should be done there. And I forgot to do it on the other side, but never mind. That's the roof done, guys. So now we're on to the corner, this uh, round corner so you're going to need some polished andesite some dead brainy coral oak log glass oak planks spruce stairs <gasps> and glass panes once again if you'd like to know the dimensions of this build or the block count it's all in my building guide all in my building guide on patreon.com okay find that little space there find it exactly that spot there okay see where it is we're going to stick a couple of blocks of coral dead brainy coral one of andesite come into a diagonal coral andesite Coral, and a site. Turning a different direction, we've got coral coming out a diagonal. Coral, and a site. Coral, and a site. Okay. So let me just sort of hold the camera there and show you that exactly. I want to just repeat this. So we've got coral, and a site. I'm just repeating what we've got, but in a different direction this time. So it's coral on the diagonal. And then we've got and a site and coral. And then we're back to this five here. So we've got five blocks now. So we've got, yeah, it's this five here. So that's straight five right there. So we've got one, two, three with dead brainy coral in between.
and we're going to continue this curve round. So it's pretty much exactly what we've got. Ooh, I think that should have been the other way around, but never mind. And then we've got coral, andesite, and coral. And we're on to just finishing this off. We're going to go, this is the four, this is the, the five, but it's just a three. Does that make sense? Anyway, there's a little circle there. I would call it a, a five, two, one, two, five circle. Bring these up with another two blocks on top. I'm going to do all the dead brainy corals first and then the andesite. Oh yeah, we can get rid of those bars, don't need them. So this is great. We've got a five by five building system. The whole thing looks uniform. And then I've stuck a big circle on the on the on the uh, on the side. And I think I want to do more of this, kind of going off the five by five system, having the basis, but then just going off and adding little turrets and round bits and extra rooms and things. Okay, so what we need to do now is put in a bit of a floor, and I've gone for again uh, a nice upside down slab upside down upper slab upper oak slab once that's done all the way round then we're going to go one two three four one two three four and i'm going to put a little window in here with some spruce stairs a little window pane here i'm going to go for just eight blocks of oak log but knock out two for a door this corner here can just go straight for uh, straight for sorry three planks <laughs> we can do these all the way around so wherever you've got that sort of coral block on its own you can go for three planks and then in the middle we can put some normal glass blocks as well you might want to think about adding a chimney in somewhere as well and if you do add a chimney into this build i think it's going to look even better than my design so please send me pictures of it on instagram if you've got instagram you can send me pictures of your builds and i'll give you a little bit of feedback as well i'm going to add some windows here so again we're going to just go for some spruce stairs to frame the windows these can just be simple planks simple planks oh and on top of these uh, wooden planks or oak planks we can go for them why am i calling them planks simple planks it's just simple oak wood logs here exactly the same thing as the front Nicely framed windows, glass panes, simple oak logs, simple oak logs. And I think we've got just enough space to add one more little window at the back here, back corner. And if you're really tidy with your details, you can bring the spruce slab along like that. There we go. So now just want to move on to the roof of this round thing. And this roof is really, really easy. Promise, promise. So an upper slab on the outside, but don't do the diagonals if that kind of makes sense. Don't want to join, don't do those blocks, okay? Don't do those blocks. And then the next layer up does do the diagonals, if that makes sense. The next layer's up as if you could walk around these layers. So one, two, three, diagonal, one, two, See, we're just going on top of the wood, but adding this inner this inner diagonal block. It's hopefully that makes sense there. And you just want to keep going for the entire roof until you get to the top. Okay, yeah, you could walk, see, as if you could walk along it, you see, you could walk along that level. So this next level, again, is just exactly the same. Come in one block and it's as if you could walk along this whole pathway. Think of yourself as making a pathway which you could walk continuously along. Keep going, next level up. It becomes easier as you go up, less blocks. Great. We'll get rid of this window again. We're not, not going to need that window, I don't think. Same on this side. We're not going to need this window. Seal that in. Finish off your roof. Okay. 
If you've got any good ideas for medieval 5x5 builds that I should do, let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to put them into action. There we go. Really nearly finished this splendid round roof. It's fun. It's fun. It's a real fun build, this. I really, really enjoyed making this. And I built it on a live stream as well. So if you haven't watched one of my live streams where I do development builds, I come up with these ideas, then do hit that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I'm going uh, live on YouTube. You can also subscribe to YouTube Gaming as well. It's got about 80 million subscribers. Great, that is that roof done nicely. So what we want to do is add on a little bit of a, a platform, a balcony. So I'm gonna count out three, missing gaps of three. You kinda needed to see exactly where that first one went, but once you've got that first one done, again, it's gaps of three. So that first one, it's in line with that fence. Gap of three, fence, gap of three, fence, gap of three, fence, gap of three, fence, gap of three, fence. Oh, that's a gap of two, Andy. <laughs> what a mistake at the maker. You can see my little confused face, probably. <laughs> In a couple of seconds, I'm going, hmm, why isn't that? Aha, found my mistake. Gap of two, that's no good. You want a gap of three. It's kind of an off-grid five by five balcony. And what I mean by off-grid is it's off from the rest of the five by five grid. But I didn't mind about this. I like going, I don't know, it's like skiing off-piste. You go to fresh new snow, you got yourself a new five by five grid unaligned with the previous one, and that's fine as well. Okay, here I'm going to go for some temporary blocks of grass because these blocks are special blocks which we'll fill in a little bit later on. So what I'm going to do now is grab some spruce slabs. Maybe a different kind of slab would look good here. Maybe some birch slabs would actually also look pretty cool as well. And you just want to seal the deal in between the grass here to make a nice upper slab spruce textured floor. And that floor is going to just be all the way around. Perfect. This is where we're going to get um, some nice birch fence coming along here nice uh, contrast in color to the spruce for sure and that just fits in there nicely like that now the grass can get removed uh, and exchanged I think for some oak logs the corners don't really lend themselves to that so I'm just gonna go for a double slab there of spruce planks and there that is the balcony and that is the build complete so what else have i done i've added in a smidgen of detail i've put some nice um spruce buttons on the ends of the logs added in a few details in the courtyard so a few plants a few banners just some bushes bring your build alive to life put some trees behind it maybe make a little animal farm or something i don't know just bring your tavern to life. It is beautiful on the inside. Definitely needs some sort of chimney. I wish I'd added the chimney in. I've added some tables and chairs. But you can see the space inside here really would lend itself to a nice big chimney. Maybe some tables and chairs gathered around in a big circle. But there's plenty of space inside to carve out some rooms. Put in a nice uh, uh, bar area. And of course you can go upstairs and downstairs to make um, some accommodation upstairs. And even maybe some storage in the attic as well it's a nice big build uh, hopefully you can bring it to life guys thank you so so much for watching this tutorial be sure to smash that like button and leave some nice feedback in the comments and i will see you next time don't forget to use the hashtag andy zero five by five i should have set it up where all my five by five builds you can press the blue hashtag and you can see some more of them thanks for watching everyone ciao ciao may the blocks be with you